getting started. Uh, let's see. First, we need approval of minutes from the following meetings from February 9th. Um, I, I move we approve the meetings from February 9th. I wasn't here, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> second. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. You're abstaining. I'll abstain. Yeah. Yeah. Scott, okay. I assume you're an I. Yep, he said I. I said I. Yep. So we've got that. Okay. Public comments for items not on the agenda. I haven't seen anybody here. Nothing. Nobody's here is expected to be here. So okay. Okay. On to items for discussion. Uh, the hangar mural. Um, we can't do the resolution. We're still waiting for some feedback on that. Yeah, we've sent the, the contract to the artist. Uh, haven't heard back uh, that contract was sent earlier this week because Wendy was out of town for some family matters. Um, but otherwise, once that happens, uh, so what I'm recommending the commission do is defer it to uh, the potential March 20th special meeting, which we'll get to in a little bit. <laughs> Could we approve the meeting? Or the res uh, approve it and then just have me sign it when it gets done so we can get it started sooner. Well, the uh, the public art committee also doesn't meet until April sixth, oh, okay. so well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, our agenda. Okay. Okay. Uh, strategic plan. Um, before we get off the art mural, oh, okay. um, uh, we do need to talk about the fundraising stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I know, uh, Warren, when I talked to you this morning, you said you and Scott had a meeting in a couple of weeks with uh, uh, one of the university foundation fundraisers. With Lynette Marshall, who's okay. the president of the uh, Iowa, uh, University of Iowa Foundation. So uh, she's actually my neighbor, but she does think she can give us some good tips on organizing a fundraising effort. Okay. So, well, that would be good. We'll need to get on that fairly quickly as, as this thing is ramping up real fast. Yeah. Okay. Oop. Um no, we can. Uh within the within the contract and within the uh conversation, I know one of the artists had mentioned that they had done like uh, public participation of the uh mm. painting and, and right. things like that um those are not in the contract and part of the reason they weren't in the contract is because they weren't part of the original rfq mm. so it wasn't something that we felt we could demand after mm. the fact um that being said i think jenna's still going to be great to work with um i got no reservations about any of that so when the when the contract does come back and, and you and the commission sees it you'll notice that that is the that stuff is not in there. But we can still ask her if she's willing to do We can st yeah. still ask, um, yeah. but yeah, again, not a requirement. Um, so. Okay. And there wouldn't be liability of having somebody else coming in and helping. Yeah, there's probably some stuff that needs to be agreed to by both sides if, if that's gonna be something we pursue uh, with a lot okay. of effort. I think honestly, by the time we get fundraising done, um, you know, we can do some there, there's some other things in there to consider with with public participation because it's just it's not just a you know a, a wall on a, yeah. a, a a parking facility. Um, so it it's gets a little bit more complicated. And all that. Yeah. Between hangers and tools yeah. and airplane parts and It'd be you know, just things. Like paint. Doing that. Well, paint, <laughs> but you know, any okay. anytime you have a group of people's a uh, group of yeah. people, things tend to disappear. <laughs> not not intentionally, but uh, at the very least, um, they travel. Yeah, yeah. things travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. it's one of those things it that we want to protect both our hangar tenants and um, that kind of stuff. So. Okay. So it's not written into that, so we can. Decide. Not saying it's impossible to do, but yeah. it's okay. we we need Good. to I think, I think have a deliberate. Um, is Halifax connecting in yet? Yep. Um, Electra is at least connected, whether okay. you can hear her. she's muted and videos off, but it looks like she's working. I'm right. here. I was just able to connect through my phone because my computer keeps saying that in its update. So okay. <laughs> uh, we're down to uh, strategic plan then, which is sort of on hold. Uh, yeah, strategic plan. This was a planned off month. Yeah. Um, Regina is putting the draft plan together. Um, I suspect in the next couple of weeks, we'll see a draft plan kind of before the next meeting. 
uh, for folks to review and, and be able to be, you know, at the meeting with some comments and um, suggestions. So that's, that's where that is. Um, okay. um, now good. all of the fun stuff. The construction <laughs> projects. Yeah. Uh, projects. Runway 12300 displays, uh, runway 25, runway 25 threshold uh, relocation. Um, oh. Same story you've heard, waiting for spring. Um, now the now the fun stuff the twelve three zero displaced threshold. Uh, we do have an agreement with Bolton and Mink. Uh, we have gone through the independent fee review. It's been fine. I sent everything to the FAA, uh, so we're ready to bless that contract. Okay. okay. So I would uh, like to offer a motion uh, approving uh, uh, the. Work order number nine with Bolden and Mank for professional services related to the runway one, two, three, zero threshold improvements. I'll second. Okay. Take it from the roll call. Yeah, that's a roll call. Oh, yeah. Bishop, aye. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Claire. Aye. Lawrence. Aye. Orozco. Aye. Old. Aye. The ayes have it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Let me go to. So here's a little quirk in the system. Okay. Because the contract is a little bit delayed, Boltman Mink has done a lot of work on on their own dime. Um, so we have our plans and specs for the project right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, granted, things will catch up, and we'll pay Boltman Mink for the work. Um, but. Uh, um, because of the, the FAA grant cycle, we do have to have this stuff bid and be ready for grants in, in early May. Um, with that, um, as you set the resolution for the public hearing, I am proposing that we hold the public hearing on March 20th. Um, that gives us a, enough time for both the bid process. We would open bids uh, the Tuesday before the commission meeting. So uh, before the April commission meeting, that way in April we can accept the bids you know, potentially award a contract, um, have all that information in place so that we can write the grant application for the FAA. Um, so with that, that's uh, that's kind of where we're at. Um, part of the runway 12, uh, is, as far as the project description, um, kind of what we've been talking about for a while, 500 foot displaced threshold to runway 12, uh, 300 feet of added uh, pavement on the 30 end. And we, we are proposing to redo all of the lighting for LED. Uh, that's kind of a necessity just because it's virtually impossible to re realign the, the runway with these two end pieces going on and having the spacing be proper. Mm -hmm. um, what else are we picking up? Am I missing reels and pappies? We have reels and pappies as alternates in the bid. Excellent. Um, that's for the three zero end. That would be a really nice addition. That will be nice. So there'll still be nothing for the one two. End. Nothing for it. Yeah, not no, just mm -hmm. purely a visual runway for one two. The less you use it, the happier everybody is. is. That <laughs> <laughs> but again, uh, part of the uh, reason for that five hundred foot displaced threshold is because it it allows us to not have to go into the neighborhood and clear cut a hundred more trees. Um, yeah, and that, that was kind of the trade off of we we went in we cleared we still cleared out like sixty of them. So you're gonna end up with what would be the final takeoff distance on one two? Uh, one two it becomes thirty seven hundred no, because you can use the full thing it'll be um, even a little longer. Right? It's something like forty two hundred Mike I think with from yeah. end into pavement. There you go, Carl's okay, got it. gotcha. And but as far as takeoff on three zero, it'll still be. You'll be able to use all that, I assume, because of the climate gradient. But maybe, maybe you can. I don't know. For the, the extension to the south, you'd be able to use it for takeoff to the north or landing rollout to the south. However, for landing to the north, you will not be able to use it. And when you're landing to the south, the first 500, you won't be able to use. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So both ends will get a, a, a takeoff roll increase. Um, the Each end will get a landing decrease. Gotcha. I kind of hate to have a takeoff 
increase on three zero yeah. <laughs> because of the gradient. But I don't know if they say if they do. So at that. the existing north end, that pavement just going to be obliterated and replaced with grass. Is no, it's so it's going to be it's going to stay there because it's, it's stay still, there just more. So you have more usable. You have more pavement for taking off that way. It's, it's gonna it's gonna look like it does at the end of two five. It's going to be yeah. marked as a displaced threshold. So right. if you're landing rolling north, you can use the whole thing. White, not yellow. White. Yeah. 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 Got it. Yeah. Well, that's true. I guess the landing distance on three zero go to forty two hundred. Right. So that'll that'll be nice. And technically, you have to take that. Off. Yeah. Technically, yeah. 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 Might be a little, <laughs> like, like you said, might be a little. Close. <laughs> <laughs> Your ground roll is. So you might find out yourself. Will be. I'm sure the part of their procedure. Uh, we need to do the yeah, like yeah, we need to sure. do that. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can. One of the issues on timing, I apologize, I don't mean to interrupt, but is that because we're moving threshold, they have to look at redoing the approaches again, just like we did on the other end of the runway. And it's probably, we haven't got a date from the FAA yet. Um, we just found out today that they've changed people that are handling the approaches. So I don't know, that's probably not going to speed up the process, but um, it's almost certainly going to be some, would be no earlier than sometime next year, combined with the fact that um, electrical lead times are still long by bidding it now, whoever the low bidder is can go ahead and as we're waiting for the approach work to be done, they can purchase all the electrical equipment, all the lights and everything they need to redo the lights so that when we get closer to the time they can just come in and knock it out and we'll have everything here. We won't have to be piecemealing or waiting on lights or something like that. So but it, it's almost certainly that it will happen in 24. So the plan then is to coordinate the kind of like what we did the two five where we yeah. did this super choreographed ballet of getting the FAA yeah. at the right time and okay. repainting. And, yeah. Okay, so can you go to risk? Okay, well, so I've, I've actually got a question for you before we set okay. it. So okay. I'm I'm out of town March 20th. So do you have a quorum for March 20th? Uh, I'll be here. Scott or collector, you guys around for March 20th for a five minute meeting or so? Let me look here real quick. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. okay. That okay. has to be in person. I will need a quorum in person. Okay. So I'll still need three in person. Okay. Six o'clock. Uh, we can do six o'clock. We can do earlier if it works for other people's schedules. It doesn't have to be six. Uh, I just kept it at six because that's our typical meeting hour. I guess that works for me. Any time sign? Yeah. You want to go earlier? Five? I'm checking my schedule. 530. <laughs> Is it okay with you? If anything, I'd rather go later. <laughs> You'd rather go later, yeah. I mean, I'll, I could, I'll come anytime. So. Right. Well, we could decide the time later, right? Yeah, five or six works for me. Five or six, okay. Anytime works for me. Leave it at six. Leave it at six? Okay. Easier to remember. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Resolution. Okay, I'd like to uh, make propose a resolution setting a public hearing on March 20th, 2023 for the plan specifications, form of contract, and estimate of cost for the construction of the runway 1230 relocation threshold project, and directing the city clerk to publish a notice of said hearing, and directing the chairperson to place said plans on file for public inspection. Okay. I'll second. Um, Okay. Um, Chris? Aye. Warren? Aye. Scott? Aye. Electra? Aye. Me? Aye. Okay. All right. And we do have the plan and specs, and clerk's office so will have their there. copies. Um, Great. So, on to the terminal area study. This one is going to be another one that I'm going to ask the commission to defer for the next meeting. Um, Similar process to what we had to do with the, the runway contract. We go through an independent fee uh, evaluation. So Bolden Mink works up the scope and we give it to a third party and they say how long they think it'll take them and what it'll cost. Because it's a more specialized 
thing that we're doing with this, it's harder to find firms. So we're actually talking to a couple of uh, firms at, uh, on the East Coast uh, to try to get this thing done. Uh, and it's taken a little bit longer. Otherwise, um, that's our holdup at the moment. Okay. So, so we'll Mr. After, okay, on to the solar power project. I need a just a all in favor of motion. Oh, one. okay. All in favor of deferring. Aye. 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 Somebody actually. Hi. Like yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to unmute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we got it. Uh, solar power project. Uh, Travis is here from CMT. Uh, we've got the initial agreement put together for basically the, the scaling and environmental work that we talked about. Um, FAA seen it, um, blessed it, we're ready to go. Excellent. And I think Travis and I have a meeting scheduled next week to kind of kick this thing off and uh, start looking at uh, utility bills and all of that fun stuff so they can start working on sizing. Yep. Anything else that I'm missing? Oh, yeah, I just wanted to be available for any questions you may have. Uh, I, I had a question. I, I noticed uh, there was a plan that showed uh, buildings with the panels on, on the roofs of certain yeah. buildings. Is, is that kind of, are those the buildings that we're definitely going to be using? Yeah, those are the, the higher use points. So it's, a, it's the maintenance shop, it's the university research lab, carry ambulance building. Yeah. Um, I'm missing one. I think the... Um, OPL. Building. Yeah, the university building. Yeah. Um, and then the, the, what we would do for the terminal building and the runway lights goes off to the ground just because of the way things are wired and the vaults over okay. over there. And the, the matter is we're doing a terminal study. And the fact yeah, that we might be messing yeah. up the terminal building anyway and whatever we do when we do a new terminal or a, a, a remodeled terminal will incorporate that stuff. Are the buildings that were selected, have they already been evaluated for their uh, that's part of what they're going to do. That's part of that. Okay. That's part of what they're doing. Yeah. I kind of wondered why we're using some of the older buildings, like the ambulance building, as opposed to hangers, Mike, in November. Just, is it just has to do with the electrical. It's just, just yeah, I'm trying to, and, and part of it is because the way the, the state code is, like, if we wrap up too many of them, then we become a utility and it's a mess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we don't, we don't do that. We, uh, no. Yeah. Trying to hit the main users, the, the biggest pieces of the airport, and this is predominant, going to get the, the majority of electrical use on the field. Uh, we might have to do some different things with contracts, uh, because right now everybody pays their own utility, so there's probably going to be some contract amendments that will come into play, because you know, we'll essentially be, we will be essentially selling our solar power to those buildings. But we can lump that into their maintenance hanger fees and everything, so it won't be different sets of billing? Um, it'll still be a different set of billing because their electrical usage is going to change, but the mechanisms are there to... It's already set up for yeah. doing that. Okay. Yeah, that helps then. Okay. So... Do you want me to take this one? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'm tired after that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I move that we consider a resolution approving a professional services agreement with Crawford Murphy and Tilly Incorporated for services related to the preliminary sizing and environmental considerations of a solar power system at the Iowa City Municipal Airport. Second. Okay. So now we do the list of things, everybody, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chris. Hi. Warren. Aye. Stas. Aye. Electra. Aye. Me. Aye. <laughs> okay. Got that one done. Grants. All right. Grant project. South T Hanger Infrastructure Project. We do have a schedule from the contractor for the, the T Hanger taxi lane. They want to start on the 20th, I believe. Um, providing weather doesn't mess us up, but uh, they'd be pouring somewhere in the middle of April. It should be okay weather wise. Um, and then realistically done by June. Um, so that will okay. do that. Uh, I know with all of the FAA stuff and other contracts, Boltman Mink and we're, we're all collectively behind on the, the terminal building and the wayfinding, but that's 
coming up. We are getting to it. Um, and then the last thing on the list is the FY24 program, which um, I, I more or less threw the, co the call letter in um, for just to remind myself to talk about it, but typical year for um, the FAA, uh, not the FAA, the, the state agreements. Um, we're watching what the legislature does in terms of funding, but we're expecting similar uh, levels of, uh, that they were last year, $750,000 for uh, the vertical infrastructure grants. And um, I don't remember what the AIP side was, but um, uh, right now I think I, my plan for going after funding would be um, to keep going with those South Taxi Lane phases. Uh, we've got a couple of things to talk about and, and just some plans and um, uh, I need to work with Boltman and get some pricing to figure out what looks practical. Um, especially with our matching dollars. Um, the other thing on the list that I'd like to do, and I don't know if we'll have the month, the, fu the funding to be able to do it, is replace our front end cabinetry on our uh, fuel storage tanks and do do a little bit of work on there. Um, those are the same age as the original cabinets, so they're going on about 30 years old. Um, hard to work on, they're, they're cramped spaces. Um, and then when we put in that second jet a tank i think we talking with matt we we've got it so that they work together and, and they they both uh like the the tank so self-level and all that stuff but we truly want an independent second tank that we can access i think we're going to add in that work to to that project we get to replace all that i mean all the piping and everything is original mm. Yeah, that piping included in it or not? Um, possibly. We'd have to. It's going to be. It's going to be a cost issue. Because like the black, uh, whatever it is, black not, iron. it's black iron piping, not stainless, whatever. Yeah. For maintenance. A lot of it's a lot of it's steel. Like if you look at it, it's it's iron on the outside, but it's got a steel core. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I've noticed that on some of the pieces we've taken apart. Like it's iron on the outside, but the inner inner is a steel core. It's kind of weird. Yeah. So it's weird. It's yeah, it is weird, but it works. Um, so that's kind of what we're at. But if there are other ideas for the 24 program, uh, I think the call letter kind of had a general breakdown of, of what the state funds and doesn't fund. And uh, the hangar, do I think, for the North, North hangers, that's... That's dead for a while. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um. I, I, it's still something I do want to go back and revisit, but I still think we're just too, too high a pricing and, and I don't know if there's anything else we can really do to change that, but. Going back to the uh, hangar infrastructure for a second. Yep. Uh, any, any interest from anybody about using it once it's poured? Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a couple of conversations going on with uh, several people. Uh, okay. either doing a group thing or uh, doing some individual stuff. So awesome. um, okay. there there are conversations, whether or not that turns into actual buildings, we'll see, but um, I'm hopeful. So there is chatter. Yeah. Parking lot? Uh, parking lot is just waiting for spring thaw and spring weather to green it up and make sure our seat takes place and we'll accept it and, and get it off the agenda. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Future projects. Uh, future projects. I'll mention it for the 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 betterment of uh, Hletcher and Scott, even though they're not going to be able to see it. Um, I I was bored for about half an hour, and so I started putting pins in Google Earth for all our projects in the next five years or potential projects. And um, I think I've got a, a couple of photos with about thirty pins in them. There, we've got a lot on the plate in the next. Uh, next five or so years. So um, it's great and great to have, have that potential, but <laughs> that's a lot of work. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, and what I'll do, I'll email them to the group just because it, it yeah. I'm a visual person. It's nice to see. Um, and it, honestly, those pins are touching just about every piece of the airport too. That's the other thing that, you know, if you look at it, uh, the taxiway infrastructure, uh, aircraft parking, uh, the, the one thing I don't have on it is hangars. And that's just because I'm hoping we get enough interest by private people to build hangars and take up the space. But if we don't, 
you know, within the next couple of years, we'll probably revisit the list and we'll see what we can do hangar wise. Cause I know hangar space is a need. And, um, you know, even though we're talking a new terminal, uh, new terminal gives everybody overhead, but not a lot of new revenue. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's uh, it's a nice, nice picture. <laughs> Shows everything. <laughs> Okay, on to uh, airport operations budget. Okay. Okay, so we have another okay. resolution here. Huh? Yep. And Judy, you want to take that one for it being okay. the, the final step of the evaluation? Okay, uh, resolution approving the airport manager annual step increase. And do I read the whole thing? The well, I, I didn't know if you had anything yeah. to say on. No, okay. it's, we <laughs> talked about it earlier. I think this is what we want. I think okay. it's been approved. Uh, we approved it in um, back in November. So have it go back. Um, okay, well, I will, I will second approving. approving this resolution. Okay. Um, Chris? Aye. Warren? Aye. Scott? Aye. Electra? Aye. And me? Aye. Okay. Takes care of that. Resolution done. Okay. Uh, the next two resolutions are both Jet Air's agreements with the airport for uh, maintenance and cleaning. They do expire at the end of next this month. Uh, is it this month? It's going to take place May first, I think. It was yeah, so next month. Um, but Matt, Matt, and I talked about it, and, and Matt gave me some updated pricing and. And while this is a little bit of sticker shock, I understand. <laughs> what are we paying for months now? Just uh, for the the maintenance contract, it's fifty five hundred, and cleaning is six hundred. Yeah. Um, and we're going up to six seventy eight. Yeah, six seventy, about ten percent on each. Um, if, if I remember my math right. And we didn't we didn't do anything with the cleaning the last time, so it's actually been ten years since we're dealing with that. Yeah. And the other one was five years. Yeah. We I basically looked at the CPI, but then I ended up just going back to a lower number that was based off of what like the FBO agreement increase was. Because the CPI had gone just totally. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, Thank uh, you. I think Jet Air is doing a great job. Yes. Terminals always clean and shiny. Everything's nice. Yeah. 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 Appreciate that. And there's things that we'd like to continue to work on. And I know the biggest thing is. Some sometimes there's not a lot of people coming through, and the next you know, but a group of fifteen or twenty people walks through, and then now it needs clean. You know, so it can go eight hours and stay clean, or it can be trashed in thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, so, yeah, and, keep an eye on it. Yeah. And having Jet Air stay, you know, Jet Air doing those those type of of contracts where they've got people here almost twenty four seven. Yeah. Can respond. Makes, and makes I can just, yeah. Yell down the hall like, "Hey, you want to catch this real fast?" And we appreciate you. Done. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay, so uh, consider re resolution approving airport terminal cleaning agreement and amendment number one with Jet Air. Um, All second. Second by Chris. Okay. Uh, shall we go? With any other comments? Or go ahead and vote. Okay. Chris. Aye. Warren. Aye. Scott. Aye. Electra. Aye. And me. Aye. Okay. Okay. And then let's into number seven. Yeah. I would offer a, a resolution approving airport maintenance agreement amendment number one with Jet Air. Okay. Second. That uh, you saying you second? I'll second it. Oh, okay. I got the second anything for a while. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Chris. Aye. Warren. Aye. Scott. Aye. Electra. Aye. And the I. Now, I brought onto the commissioner's notebook. I brought that. Um, I think Warren's had a chance to look at it. He's had a chance to look at it. I think it's pretty much updated as to what we talked about wanting. Um, Anybody have any other comments? Absolutely. I mean, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. something Judy and I have been working on for the last year. Yeah. Um, just as things have popped up or if things have been nice to know or 
or you know things that uh, she felt was appropriate for the chair to to have handy. Um, and I'm a paper one rather than a computer one. So that's, <laughs> this was, but you can also find this how to yeah. use this to get on the computer. But if the computer's ever down, we have some information. And then it happens. They're always up. Well, and, and and as part of that, it's got the kind of the retention of knowledge, who to contact if something yeah. happens to me, you know, IT and and who our main contacts are, Bolton Mink and now CMT and Jet Air. Yeah. And, uh, so we've got we've got a pretty comprehensive notebook here. Um, I think it does a really good job of fulfilling the you know the continuity plans, any any uh, any type of continuity of operations. So uh, we can kind of check that off our list yeah. of to do's and um i'd encourage if you if you haven't seen it encourage everybody to get with judy to to take a look through it especially those that have been chair before um and keeping it up to date that'll be that'll be easy that'll be sort of the chair's job at least in terms of the paper but then yep. what we're going to be scanning pages and to the computer files I would think we should do that. I mean, we have, so a lot of this stuff is already scanned in my computer somewhere, okay. um, like contracts and and within there is a document that kind of says where all those pieces are and file names and- Okay, um, yeah. We just have to keep that updated. Just so, that up. yeah. Mike, and this would be in your office? Um, this is going to be with the the chair. So this is going to be the, like, this is going to be the handoff document. Congratulations, this is all yours. Oh. <laughs> yeah. it has I'm like I was I was gonna stop by on Monday and review it with you. <laughs> it's uh has all the plans for everything in in case the terminal blew up and we wouldn't have access here. Got it on here. Oh okay. So it's taken care of. Thank you so much for both yeah. to both of you. Yeah. Okay, annual report. Um, this is good. yeah. The, no, I, I had comments back from Judy for a few typos and a couple other questions, but otherwise, uh, this is my draft of the annual report to the commission. If the commission's okay with it, we'll just take off the 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 draft watermark, mm -hmm. and when we get ready to present the strategic plan to the council, we'll include the annual report at the same time. And you'll send us the updated. Yeah, I can do that. Draft. Okay. Copy. Okay, the aviation classes. Uh, another one of those, just a reminder, because uh, especially with meetings like this, I tend to lose track about this time. <laughs> um, the Iowa Aviation Conference, we hosted it last year downtown. Um, I know Scott was there as part of one of my panels. Um, it's in Cedar Rapids this year. Um, I think it's at the Double Tree uh, downtown. But, I think that's but, where it is. Um, the 2023 conference or the 2024? 2023 conference. Okay, that's just a typo. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> yes, it is 2023, April 11th and 12th. Um, typically, the 11th, uh, the first day is like a, a, a public airports association board meeting and networking. But if you have wanted to go, the second day is where all of the classroom stuff is. Um, we do keep a budget typically for a couple of airport commission members to attend conferences. So if anybody is interested in going and, and uh, uh, hanging out for the day or even part of the day, let me know. We can get things set up and you know, push comes to shove, we can get you registered the day of too. So it's not not a terrible issue. Uh, I'd probably be, I'd take you up on that. I wanted to do last year, but I was not here. So um, about the 12th. I could do at least yeah. part of the day. Sure. Yeah. Put me down as a strong yeah. meeting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, got a stubble channel. Okay. Scott, Electra, I know Scott, you were at the last one. Um, Electra, if you wanted to join us, you're certainly welcome to. What's the date on those? Uh, I, it'd be April 12th would be the, the main day. I have an HR business conference that day as well. Okay. Not a problem. <laughs> What's the other day? Is it the 13th or the 11th? Uh, it, was the, it was the 11th, but there's really not much that happens on that one. It, it's more of a, 
board of directors meeting for the airports association and, and like early networking for anybody that comes to town the night before. Oh, okay. So not, yeah. If, if you're not able to make it on the 12th, I wouldn't worry about the 11th. And then the 12th, it's all day. The 12th is all day. All day until five or six. Usually till five. But it's in Cedar Rapids, so it would still be. Yeah. Um, let me see next week because I think that we're having the conference in the afternoon on the 11th and in the Monday, in the morning on the 12th. So I might be available in the afternoon of the 12th, but let me check and I'll get back with you. Thank you for checking in asking. Okay. No problem. Commission member outreach plant. That's. <laughs> this was, and, and if you don't want to really do a whole lot of talking tonight, that's fine. But uh, uh, I know Judy had mentioned putting this on the agenda um, as part of the strategic plan the, the commission had talked about, you know, whether we want to invite uh, uh, like the Parks and Rec director or liaise with more, you know, the transit people or the, 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 the traffic planning people or even the Parks and Rec board or that kind of stuff. So if, if that, uh, in order to kind of have that conversation, you need to have it on the agenda. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be tonight, but um, well, it would, and I was thinking also some of us actually have a connection to more specific. So instead of having them come here, just have one person who's kind of keeping track of that area. Or as it, I mean, as a we could do that too, but I, I actually, the, I actually yeah. like the idea of inviting someone, yeah, like the parks and recreation, talking about the trail across the, yeah. the road there. and stuff like that. that well, and with Parks and Rec, it's going to be affected to the um, the Danes land up yeah. here. North and it's it will it's scheduled when the Danes are all done with it, it will become a park. But right now it's come up again. The north and west section of land that's not theirs. Mm -hmm. It's um it's gone through planning and zoning about getting it rezoned to higher so it could be uh cars that you know, uh, like a car dealership, car dealership or, or something else which then which i've checked it like about that would be right next to where the planes are coming in so then you have an alternate thing that you've got all these lights right at the end of where your runway is and i think we need to have to have Parks and Rec be aware of that could be a problem, even though it's gone through and, and getting, it's up for rezoning. The Danes are trying to get people to write letters or to connect in and say, don't <laughs> watch so what goes in there. Uh, More on the, like right at the edge the, of the, the edge floor. Of the yeah. It'd be, it'd be that area. Okay. That land is still for sale, haven't been sold yet, right? Right. Well, but they still want to, they're trying to get it rezoned because then they can sell it for the other stuff. I have a suspicion of what they want to do over there, but I don't know for sure. So I'm not going to say anything uh, sure. at the moment. But, um, you know, Judy, uh, when the rezoning application came up, uh, uh, the Neighborhood Development Services uh, group did contact me and said, you know, what would be the restrictions and would there be any restrictions because it's under, you know, part of the transitional zone um, on the north side. I'm like, yeah, well, uh, you'd be looking at, you know, either a 25 or 35 foot height because of the way the geometry is yeah. um, on the north side of, of the area. But beyond that, it gets out of that pretty fast because that's a seven to one slope. Um, oh. But um, so I, I've been aware that this was was out there yeah. and been working with the city to kind of, you know, what, what do they want to do and, and uh, you know, what are the potentials of it, essentially. And honestly, from what it what it's zoned now, which is is a commercial office. Uh, so you have an office environment uh, to take it to. Uh, they want to rezone it to commercial, what's called commercial. Is it industrial or commercial intensive? I think it was intensive. Intensive, um, which is where you get the car dealerships, the, the warehouse type stuff. And honestly, that zone is probably better fit for the airport because it's going to be less people. 
um, in theory. It might not be good for the park for the the ground that's going to become a future park. park, but from the yeah. airport's perspective, um, you know, I don't tend to argue against things that aren't going to be a real factor for the airport anyway. But um, as I mentioned, uh, this is just rezoning, so it's allowing for those potential uses. Um, there will still be a building permit process and an airspace study review uh, for when they do want to develop, and at that point, we'll be you know like yeah, the lights need to be X, Y, and Z because they can't be you know, uh, looking like a runway light, lighting effect, um, stuff like that. Shielded light, so you don't have stuff coming up and blind pilots coming in. And, uh, that kind of thing. Well, anyway, that was but, an yeah, so there's, there's nothing that we... This we point can't do anything concerned. about, but just be aware of. Okay. Um, anything else? Okay, events? Uh, I think the only thing that changed is we do have a finalized date for the Young Eagles for June 3rd. Uh, Drive-in movies, I, they still haven't published their calendar, so I haven't put anything out there, but I know when they're targeting the airport. Okay, then uh, that's it. Um, Before we move forward, I have a question mm -hmm. about the events. Yeah, I thought we kind of were discussing of seeing the possibility to sponsor one of those uh, movies at the airport. What happened with that? I look. I did look into the numbers, and for what the sponsorships were left, um, we don't really have the money. Okay. So it was kind I, of. A... <laughs> I thought Matt said that he would partner with us. How much was it in the end? Oh, it was like five or ten grand. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I think that the premier sponsor was ten, and they had a bunch of of, of five thousand dollars for like each individual movie. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. I can Thank see you. A thousand with, uh, or something like that to match, or fifteen hundred. Yeah. But getting into five thousand dollars a lot for one movie. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Offering up a a, a porta potty for keeping the movie out here is one thing, but sure. <laughs> Very different. Thing Very different. <laughs> That's almost like fundraising type level. So I, I figured yeah. it was more so to, to offset. But... Okay, I, think you're right. yep, yep. Okay. I mean, I'm sure they use all of it to pull a little bit of. Oh, sure. Sure, sure. I mean, they've got expenses. Um, but yeah, on Jet Air's side, I didn't, I didn't have, I was out of town until just a little bit yeah. ago and got back. I don't know if it got included in the packet or not, but as you can imagine, most, most of Jet Air's activities from a maintenance perspective have been just snow plowing, snow removal type it's, of stuff. It's, yeah. uh, it is in the pack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, there isn't anything that I had that was uh, significant. We do hoses and stuff like that, but um, yeah, anything major. Yeah, nothing nothing major on there. Um, we did have um, you know, thankfully it was 10 inches or 12 inches of snow all at once as opposed to an inch every couple of days yeah. <laughs> for a month, you know. Um, so actually that worked out pretty well. Um, the guys did a really good job getting cleared up and, and really the sun helped. I mean, we, they had once they had it off, they were within 24 hours. Everything was pretty much pavement wise, pretty dry. So, um, so really, really fortunate from that standpoint. And this winter was also very good from the standpoint of uh, we didn't have to worry about, you know, we didn't have to once have piles pushed back, you know, for years we start, we're, I was starting to think we were going to need to get an end loader because, because we had to have the city come out all the time and push back piles and do things. And this year was not one of those years. So um, really fortunate for that. I did contact the city uh, equipment office to start investigating the, to get a brush for our tractor, just because that kind of, that would be extremely valuable for opening things up faster. But anyway, other than that, uh, nothing, nothing super noteworthy there. Um, uh, the aviation conference, the airport's aviation conference is something Jet Air's sponsoring this year too. Uh, I filled that out right before I came upstairs. Um, and then um, we also stay involved. We did I, the Iowa Business Aviation Association, something that we're involved in too, and met, had a meeting there today in a bunch of corporate operators and stuff like that. So that was really good. Um, in general, stuff's just still plugging along. I say it's this, it's a slow time of year in general, but, but, um, yeah, shop's busy and we're doing flight training when they can. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, yeah. How are we doing on the ice melt? 
Uh, I don't know how much he has left. It we did quite a bit. We didn't use we much at all. Right? It's, it's been, warm, right? it's been yeah. warm, and and any time that there's been the opportunity for so now this big big snow, they did pre-treat mm. once with in the effort, you know, in the hopes that when we did plow it off, it would get down to pavement, mm. uh, which we did. But also, you know, it's really hard to know what yeah. what the sun did versus what you did. But but um, they did not. They used it. Very, very sparingly, and so I imagine we have quite a bit left over. But it's great. it'd be good to continue to stockpile. The nice, the pellets last, so the more we can stockpile, the better. Yeah. So, so yeah. the price will probably be lower now than next year. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, 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 it's always it's always lower if you've already got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah. Okay. So yeah. Very good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the commission members report. Anything? No. Well, Scott, Alexa, anything? Nothing. Okay. Scott and I will report back. You know, we're having our meeting on January 18th with Marshall about the fundraising. So we'll report back when uh, we set our next meeting. Next meeting. Sounds good. Scott, probably not to put you on the spot, but your term is the one that ends this summer, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I imagine the city will start applications for that term uh, in the not too distant future because they try to do it 90 days out so they can appoint whoever mm -hmm. when uh, time comes. You want to apply again? Um, let me get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> You've been very helpful. So. Yeah. Come on, we need the restaurant. <laughs> okay, anything else? Staff reporting? Please stick together. Um, Next week, uh, I'll be out of the office on Tuesday for the uh, Iowa Public Airports Association meeting and legislative reception in Des Moines. Um, we, I've got a full day in Des Moines going on uh, Tuesday. Um, we've got the conference on the agenda for next month. So I think that's all I've got coming up. Yeah. Okay. So the next meeting will be April 13th? Uh, we'll March. do a special meeting on March 20th. Okay. Make sure you have that in the calendar. I expect that to be 10 minutes. Um, short meeting. Yeah, it right. should be a fairly short meeting just to go through the public hearing. And uh, Is that March 20th or 30th? March 20th. Monday, March 20th, 6 p.m. Oh, my. Tuesday. I put it on the 30th. Okay. <clears throat> and then the meeting after that will be. And April then the regular 30. meeting will be April 13th. Okay. Which I will be here for. You will be here for that. Okay. Um, so, is, do I hear anything about a journey? Oh, no. <laughs> I move, we adjourn. Okay. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Hey, we are adjourned. All right.